Hello, I'm Diego and I'm going to show here a basic um, pre-processing steps in order to use Astro Pixel processor. Um, I'm going to use this image as an example. It's an Aroban image of M42. And um, uh, let's get to it. I'm just taking this down. Open Astro Pixel processor. And this is what I do. First of all, you open your work directory. It's a folder where you have, where I have the frames what, that I want to work with. And this is where Astro Pixel Processor will put all the resulting files in here. All right. So I hit open. And what I do, if you have a look at here, it says one is load, two calibrate, three analyze stars. If you follow this order, you end up with a with the resulting images you need. All right. I'm gonna open this up. Okay. So now, and um, here's where you load all your lights. Here's where you load all your flats if you use them, all your darks or your bias. All right. I don't use calibration frames when I shoot narrowband with this camera. I feel I don't need them. I have a ZWO ASI 1600 monochrome. Um, you'll see the results later, maybe. So first, the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to load all my files in there for three filters. It's, um, you go HA, uh, here you go O3, here, and then you go S2, here. So as you can see in here, all my lights are there, right? These are all hydrogen alpha, all the oxygen three, all the sulfur two, right? It's also telling me here my gain, my exposure time, the date and time I shot this. So if I'm using calibration frames, I go to calibrate. These are my settings for my masters and I hit calibrate in this time in this case I'm not using that the third step analyze stars I'm gonna hit analyze stars and this will start checking every frame everything that is checked in there I'm gonna pause this wait for it to be done and coming back okay um, start analyze finished as you can see here, if I open the window, it has analyzed the star images and I can see the full width half maximum of every one of my frames and here it has chosen a stack reference, one frame as a reference to stack everything, which is this one here. The idea if I'm not wrong, is that you put all your frames in there and it will do all these steps until um, registration, analysis, normalization, at the same time in all of the frames, right? So now that we did the start analyze, we go to register. These are your settings here. So go there, start registration. Welcome back. Uh, you just finished the registration. I go to normalize. I always choose to go advanced in here. And I go normalize lights. Okay. <coughs> now the, this has finished. I'm going to the next tab, which is integrate. Um, integration has a small difference. If you leave everything picked, it will stack all the lights, right? 
so it will end up with a big luminance for example right but I don't want that I will go to here uncheck all of the lights and then I for example let's go all the s2 for example okay and I take all the lights that I would like to stack let's see how many more we have here there all right so I want to stack all of these ones and then of course I will stack all the O3s and then I will stack all the HAs so let's stack this one just as an example and uh, here I will minimize this thing this is telling me how many lights I'm, going, I'm stacking and then I can choose how is it gonna stack these lights um, what happens is um, depending on the settings um, this will stack every frame exactly the same uh, for example in this one quality will give more importance to the frames with better quality better noise and, and uh, signal radio okay you can put your mouse in there and it will give you an explanation on what's every setting doing all right um, I will leave things at this this is not a special photo this is not a, a mosaic so nothing special here just to keep it simple hit integrate and wait okay now it finished um, this file here is the stack result of all my s3 right, so if I click it you will see there this is a result okay I'm not gonna show up more stuff in Astro Pixel Processor just want to show you what this file looks like in um, Photoshop this ha file has been stretched by the software all right just to show me what I have but if I untick this thing it will show me how it will look this is my file without stretching all right so what I did I was went to save and I right, let me untick this so it saves an unstretched photo then I went put a name on it is to frame and then you go okay it will ask you what how you want to save it as a TIFF file and then I will say yes because I already did this before it will ask me how you want to save it click OK done right so after I do this I'll show up here this is my file how it comes up in Photoshop I'll stretch it a bit go image of course you're gonna have to do this with each one of the frames you're gonna have let those I like to use these to show to shorten my processing time it's just a trick filter that I like to use this filter here makes a synthetic flat and I like to use this fella here because it gives me this to start with all right and this is what I did with this frame in order to work on my photo that's how I ended up coming into this mess in here I don't know if you like my mess but I love it um, so I don't know what I close
close it. Uh, right, I did. No, I don't want to save anything. Just to recap, load all your lights in there. They will be all ticked in here. You can go all the way to normalize. When you hit normalize lights, it will go through the process of calibration, analyzing stars, registration, and then you go to integrate. I only tick a group of lights and click integrate. I save the file however I want to save it. I tick the next set, O3, click integrate save the file and I do the same with HA and this is what I did with this beautiful nebula hope you like it